Well, good morning, good morning. Marmalade on the road this time, and it is a beautiful morning uh, just southeast, I think, of Provo, where I camped last night. As you saw, I woke up to a bunch of cows uh, grazing right around my car, and they're just definitely habituated because they weren't scared of me at all. And I even uh, I got around, took some pictures of them, and drove out. They didn't move one bit, so. Anyway, uh, it was a glorious uh, sunrise with cows and cow poop everywhere, so. Today is a special day. Today is the 11th of September, 0911. But uh, we are going about three and a half hours to Bryce Canyon National Park. Uh, I've got my GPS set for the visitor center. I usually like to go there, get some maps. Uh, I want to get a pin for my vest at work and just get a lay of the land. I've already written some notes on some hikes and some things to see in the park. I really don't know everything. So you go to a lot of websites when you research, but they're not... There is a National Park official site for East National Park, but there's a lot of people that make articles, so they're always skewed depending on what they like the best. It doesn't mean it's the best stuff, so uh, I will get there about between 11 and 11.30 today, probably closer to 11.30, and um, then I'm going to spend, you know, most of the midday and afternoon there. Uh, I've found some dispersed camping just outside the park, so I've got to maybe go find that. I want to spend a couple days at least in the park. Uh, if it's too if it's boring or not pretty or too crowded, it may not uh, go back tomorrow. But I plan right now on being there for at least two days. If it's awesome, I'll stay longer. But uh, that's the plan. Tomorrow will be a full day there. And um, then I can camp again at the dispersed camping and then take off. So today is getting there, getting my lay of the land, trying to maybe do a short hike or at least go see some sites today, film it for you. Uh, it's really pretty. I'm on the 89. It's parallel to the 15 freeway going, you know, so I'm going south. And I think I'm, I actually didn't look closely. I think I'm uh, like east and south of the 15, like basically east of it, but I'm going along it. But the 15 would go all the way home to San Diego, which I'll eventually be on again. But I'm going kind of uh, a little bit east and south to um, see these the, the next bunch of days that I'm gonna be on on, uh, on the road. So that's the plan. It's really pretty here. It's got like a mix of brown and red mountains and then uh, lots of green. And then you got like little pieces of desert here and there. So it's really pretty interesting. I don't know what we'll see going on, but I'll try to film it if I can. And that's it. See you down the trail and down the road. So I just bought my uh, pin for my vest at work and um, I'm gonna go maybe try to do a hike, maybe a three mile hike. And there's something they have throughout the park called hoodoos or those tall uh, pointy rock formations. And uh, supposedly this trail is about three miles and uh, you get to see some of them. So I'm hoping so and it should be pretty to film. So let's see if we can get over there and do it.
All right, guys, it's about uh, 4.30, and uh, man, I can't recommend this dispersed camping enough. I'm gonna show you the uh, campsite. Look how beautiful it is here. I'm literally only about three miles outside the main gate, free. Uh, and I'll show you, these are legit dispersed camping. You can see the sign here. Dispersed camping, I have lucky number 23. Let me show you a really big spot. Seems like everybody, because there's so many spots out here, uh, this road goes for about three more miles. I'm about a mile into it, and there's 23 spots. So you can imagine if you go two or three more miles. So I'll be sleeping in the car, but uh, I'll probably set up my tent so that when I go to the park tomorrow, nobody steals my spot. But uh, look at this view I have in front of me. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to have a fire. I want to cook some hot dogs that I still have before they go bad. So I got a little fire pit right there. Got a log to sit on, but I have a chair. But yeah, that's my view. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. It's just really pretty. It's hard to see in the camera, but you can see here. Let me go with 360 here. So real big rigs can get in all these, very large. But there are about half of them have the small cars, individuals like me. And the best price, nothing, zilch. Alright guys, Marmalade here. It is September 12th, my day two at uh, Bryce Canyon National Park, which is amazing. Had a great night. Uh, uh, we're going to give you a tour of the whole place today. We are going to something called Mossy Cave. It's kind of a weird spot. It's in the park, but you don't go in the main entrance. So I've left the park, the main entrance. I'm going about six miles to this. It's kind of uh, on the 12 and then I forget the other road, but uh, 64 or something, but I'll put it here if I re remember. But yeah, it's, it's in the park, but it's on the outside so anybody can see it. So it's about a uh, eight tenths of a mile to a mile round trip. And uh, you see supposedly waterfalls and uh, a mossy cave, I don't know. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go back in the park, it's not far. And we're gonna just, the park map shows it being really long main road through the whole entire park and really great things. I might do a hike, maybe not. But the main thing is I wanna see the view, see the park, get a feel for it. Most likely today is my last day and then tomorrow I'll go to Zion, but we'll see. But uh, I wanna see the whole park and just kinda see what's here. And then, you know, if I were to come back, then I can know other things that maybe I wanna do. But I hate to just come in and do two things and leave, so. And that's kind of what I did at Yellowstone. I regret it, man. That was the prettiest place I've ever seen that I know of with buffalo and just elk walking around on the roads and just uh, just beautiful, so, and the geyser. All right, let's get there and get our day started.
All right, well guys, what I did was I intentionally went past a bunch of viewpoints to get to the very end. It's about 15 miles from the main area where I was. I passed a lot of viewpoints, which we'll hit on the way back, but this is Rainbow Point. Super pretty, and essentially the end of where you can drive in the park. So, you know, I think, think the whole thing is about a 20 mile drive from when you go in the gate to the end, roughly. But uh, this is a busy place, so we'll use the restroom, and we'll hit some points on the way back. Mm -hmm. 